assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to another video it's Ibrahim Muslim and today I'm back with another tutorial on hack and touch so this is a new tutorial and I'm using a really new computer right now so I have upgraded to a new computer and this is a Core i7 7600K and I'm using DDR4 RAM now it's AGB it's KB Lake the CPU and the motherboard is Z270X Gaming 5 from Gigabyte and the computer have been totally compatible till now and everything is working from USB 3.1 to the USB 3 to audio and from Wi-Fi what else is left from the HDMI to display port USB cables and storage as well as the graphics card and I'm not using Intel HD 630 because I have a Nvidia graphic card but I will make a video on it as well because Intel AG630 is working as well so this video is basically on USB 3.1 and USB 3.0 so you can enable it on your 200 series and 100 series of motherboards so all you need to do is very small patches and fixes so let's start with it the first thing you have to do is you have to install these both kecks which is XH CI200 injector for let me zoom in injector and USB inject or into your EFI partition of your OS X hard drive and after this you have to do a small patch using clever configurator or you can use multi beast to patch that as well so let's start the first thing you have to do is you have to mount your EFI partition we mount the EFI partition, we open the GEX folder and we open EFI, EFI Clover GEX and you can install it in your desired OS X version or in other, other is easy because it works with every OS so we copy this both GEX and we move it here or you can move this in your 10.12 if you're using 10.12 or you can move it into 10.11 if you're using 10.11 after moving this into 10.12 you have to close this and if we go back in our clever configurator here you have to mount your EFI partition and config.plst of that EFI partition and then you can go into the kex and patches and here you can see there is a small kex for increasing the limit of your x200 series motherboard so to add this patch you can directly add these values here or you can open multi beast and I'm using 9.2.1 and in here drivers go to the USB and here you'll find increase max port limit 200 for 200 series increase max port limit 100 for 100 series of motherboard and increase max port limit 9 for 900 series motherboard so you can increase the max port limit for your motherboard if you're using 200 or 100 series I'm using 100 so I install this one and then you can just install uh, after installing this you have to do one more thing you have to open your kex utility and after this thing finishes i will add the password so both of the software do, does not collide with each other sometimes they make the other one stop working properly so and meanwhile i will open my kex folder and we are done with multi beast and now i will add my password here and the kex utility will stop working and here it will show you the cpu i'm using so oh my god so it's a Core i7 7600K CPU running at 3.8 4 cores 4 thread at a turbo boost of 4.6 because I've overclocked it to 4.6 and then I will zoom out and what you have to do is you have to select both of these kecks this one and this one and you have to throw this here so the kex utility copies these files into the library extension of your system so the, so the system loads it through the default path as well instead of only loading it with the clever configurator and then after quit you have to restart your system to look at the results so there is one confusing thing here right now i will show you that in my system report if we go to usb you can see my usb 3.3 displayed here under the 3.0 bus because right now the USB is plugged into the 3.1 port and it is giving me proper speeds if I do a speed test I will go to the select drive and here so the, the file format matters here the write speed is 4.6 because of the drive but we will basically concern the read speeds and you can see this is not a normal USB 2.0 speed it is a USB 3 
uh, speed and you can see the write speed varies because of the USB drive format basically but the read speed is proper high and it goes to 100 and something this means your USB is running at 3.0 you can see the result varying now so after closing the test I will inject this USB drive and I will inject it into a USB 3.0 port instead of a USB 3.1 port and now it will be displayed in my system report I will close this I will close this again open system report and now you can see mass storage device is displayed here and jet flash 5 GB per second connectivity all of the four drive four USB 3.1 drives are working and both of the USB 3.1 were working USB type C and USB type A so that's all for this video guys that's how you enable USB 3.1 on your latest Hackintosh including 100 and 200 series Thanks for watching, hope you liked it, hope you enjoyed it. And for more such videos, please like, share and subscribe. And if you have any question, query, please ask in the comments below. And I will be very glad to answer all of your questions. And once again, thanks for watching, hope you liked it, hope you enjoyed it. And until the very next video, please take care, Allah Hafiz.